Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. 
Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Vassal? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council chambers. Chuba Ponga <laughs> Takom juz tak miki kramogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Kachi kun ita hodunga. Ikin kun upa mulera chiku. Slimo potona runde hodunga ku kape. Manaman atota. Haki jukrata pula shui chunga tong. Tongue, 
下ポンカーボラボラでアブレスリモコダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダコンジュースダクニキークラブホゴーカチーイタハトンガンアカノキアデブシステムシステムシステムシステYou there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. They're waiting for you inside. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Indeed, I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training.
Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our Order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it. I got rid of Revan, so I figure Malik's days are number two. That doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay, and if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Thank you. 
what? Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Good. It is well that you see how important this is, and have the devotion to follow it. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time, until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Hmm, yes. Your devotion is most commendable. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. 
you and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First. I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our Order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our Order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. All things in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. 
As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind. Nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. No one is denying that Revan was one of the keys to defeating the Mandalorians. But something happened out there on the Outer Rim. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months, scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time. Yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, 
but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Your confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. These lead to the dark side. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. May the Force be with you. Good evening, Apprentice. I trust your training goes well. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And they beat my people so easily in battle. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. Revan was always the leader, the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role, and has embraced the dark side power as fully as his old master ever did. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance for his master's death draw Malak ever further down the path of the dark side fueling his powers until they surpass those of his old master. Only you and Bastila, together, can stop Malak now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? Master Vruk may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. Is there anything... All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our Order. Think and meditate on these truths, Apprentice. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, Apprentice. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our Enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. I suppose such desires are inevitable, though I fear you may seek knowledge for which you are not prepared. Yet I will do my best to guide your quest. Bastilla, the young Jedi holds great promise and great danger. She can do much for both the Republic and the Council. Without her skill in battle meditation, the Sith Armada would have conquered the galaxy long ago. But despite her command of the Force, Bastilla is still young. She is a Jedi, but she has not attained the rank of Master. The Council would do well to remember this before we lay the fate of the galaxy on her slender shoulders. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. I see you insist on what. It appears that soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress, but I cannot help but wonder if you move forward too quickly. I see you insist. You do not know the Jedi Code? 
Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our Order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Learn these truths, Apprentice, or we shall all regret the decision to accept you into the Order. Greetings, young up. As chronicler, you should ponder the... May the fort... Good evening, apprentice. A Jedi must... I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong. Many of the young... And they beat my... And what... The way... Is there any... Very well. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress... Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan, Malak, and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this. A lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training... Greetings! Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete... These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from Apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. That is not correct. There is return. Greeting. 
in the tree. The fur you must there is that is not the rit greetings. In these first you must know there is no that is not the rit greeting. In the for you there that is the rit greetings so in the trip the for you must there is There is no ignorance. There is no passion. There is no chaos. That is the rit. Greeting. Soon in the tr the fur you must there is. There is... There is no passion. There is no chaos. That is not... There is... Re Greeting. Soup in the... For you, there is... There is... There is no... There is... There is no death. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Indeed, we shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. 
Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on how to construct it.
Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every Jedi, the threat of the Dark Side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the Dark Side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the Dark Side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathhounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathhounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. <laughs> If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I find your quest for knowledge admirable. But I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Your confidence, Revan's Ted. May the. Good evening, apprentice. I trust your training goes well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of. Pa Good evening, a, a Jedi. Matt, very well. I see you insist on what I... Revan was once a promising Padawan, but ever eager to learn more about the Force, 
Revan sought knowledge of ancient Sith magics, foolishly ignoring the dangerous lure of the dark side. When the Mandalorian invasion came, Revan seized the opportunity it presented. Many Jedi flocked to the Outer Rim to follow the charismatic young knight, and many fell under the sway of the dark side. I do not believe Revan and Malak were corrupted on the Outer Rim. They had begun their journey down the Dark Path long before the Mandalorian threat appeared. Here on Dantooine, they discovered a sinister cave, a place where the strength of the dark side overwhelms the light. Perhaps this discovery was what first corrupted them. Or perhaps they sought the cave out because they were already corrupted. Whatever the explanation, the Order was unable to turn them back to the light. Had the Council taken more decisive action in this matter, perhaps Revan and Malak could have been stopped. But in this we failed. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. <laughs> Greetings, Apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer, Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. But be warned, Apprentice, they are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. The Cathhounds have been very active of late. The settlers feel they are becoming more dangerous. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Yiku kuno no ba muli ra ti kun tong hit kun chun ching ne bo bo je mata de punage dulpi kikyu ana. ああ。Runda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nuno tek. Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes.
Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the Council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the Council of your rude behavior. Ajuta, Wonga could be stolpy, Kikuyana. Dong Patugas Bactilia. Ka Chikun Ita Hodonga, Iking Kuno Bamulera Chikun. Stimo Potona, the Hodonga Kukabe. Jet about the one and needy bobo. Donga Bungsha, Nunya. Tung patukas magtalea. Machuta. Ronda di ko nunga kun hanga. Wala kun bes ching palamule. Tung king ba nunotak? Tung ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ronda di ko nunga kun hanga. Wala kun bes ching palamule. Tung king ba nunotak? Tuk ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Jeto ba do wana ni di bobo. Tung na bung sha nunya. Tung patukas mak talaya. Ah, 
chico mira aldonga y chico no va muy la chico vivo por donar la dona cubatel a chuta unga con viento el chico y ana dos patugas magdelia Jadi batu warna ni juga, tom nabu syak dunia, tom batu kasmak telia, muzik syak pakat. Kini nuno nama Pauli Raciku. Tabis tu bon conquis pampa, chimpa la chisca muli, tu ni rana no prata dunk no sarcha doma wama kun bestoma. Jakin kun no ba muli raji kun. Rundi hadonga ku hunga bihin. Wana kun bes. You know those stones to the east of here? I heard they did some digging and found they aren't natural. 
Master Quattro was hurt very badly. She might die. I heard it was her own apprentice that did it. Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm not the one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. I always thought it was just a bunch of settlers and farmers. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, have it your way. <laughs> It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, yes, those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of Cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. Ah, you can find two stores here at the Enclave. Aerotech has opened both a general supply store and a droid facility. And I think you will find their products quite good. The supply store is run by a Twi'lek named Kratis Yurkel. 
A talkative being with a big chip on his shoulder, but generous despite that. The droid repair facility is managed by Carol Carr. A bit brusque, perhaps, but a good being nonetheless. We have shared many a game of Bazaar in the small hours of the morning. Is there something else I can help you with? About. The importance you put in a name is misleading, young one. You, of all people, should remember that. Is there something else I can help you with? About. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I serve the good and, hopefully through that, the people of the Republic. Is there some... I hope you... Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. They're pathetic. They're taking scraps when they should be taking worlds. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? My name is Gar. A pla Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. He should have been protecting her better if he wanted to keep her. Mandalorian beast. Some of us don't like fighting and killing and butchering as much as you. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. No, the ones you're most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Well, but... Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. No! They've been raiding planets across this sector and farms around here often. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land. And worse, those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. 
There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. She was always impulsive. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will give you all I have. Just please, annihilate them from the face of this planet. The Council's been telling us not to go near the stones to the east. Just as well, the Cath Hounds near there seem a lot more vicious. I hear that the Sith torture Jedi prisoners until they give in to the dark side. I hope that never happens to me. Wanna call best Ching Pa Ma Rulira, Hok Ching Bang Non Kit, Tuk Ninja Mulira Rabes. Uba Patu Kochi, Tong Nong Bong Chang Nung Yang, Tong Katok Smakdelia, Yatuka Uluan Ching Kun Naba Mulira, Rachi Kun, Mucha Shak Pangpa, La Boda Ni Winky Smak Toma, Wanna call best Ching Pa Ma Rulira, Hok Ching Bang Non Kit, Tuk Ninja Mulira Rabes. Uba Patu Kochi, Tong Nong Bong Chang Nung Yang, Tong Katok Smak Delia. La Boda Ni Winky Smak Toma, Wana Kung Bes Ching Pa Ma Rulira, Tok Ching Bang Non Kit, Tuk Ning Cha Mulira Ra Bes. La Boda Ni Winky Smak Toma. Those damn Mandalorians have been raiding farms all over this continent. The Jedi won't do anything, so where does that leave us? Arlen Matali likes to lord his wealth over the rest of us. What I wouldn't give for him to eat his own words. His son seems like a nice boy, though. <laughs> Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. Um, none of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. 
Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. My droid is... Please. Uchiwa Fenki, Kang Guamaji, Human Act in Kikatune, Chi Ita Kang Ki, Changa Kilikon, Chi Wak Aita Kang Ki, Chi Wi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha, Agi Ito Tune, Chuna Muri Ra, Kang Guamaji Kona, Tong Ki Pa Nong Tu Nek Abog, Kakin Cha Nawabakaon, Bagwa Shang Konti Machi Tun, Chiwa Aita Kang Ki Cha Na Tupor Nibo Tun Muli Ras Nimo Poi Wanga Tang Iduama Ji Yuman Ak Un Kikatune Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha Agi Uto Tune Chuna Muli Ra Tang Iduama Ji Ko Na Tong Ki Pa No Ku Nek Abog Tong Iduama Ak Ki Uto Tune O Tong Iduama Ji Ak Ki Uto Tune Tong pa no kun, no nek, chi wi aita ka chong chi cha. Ki muli ra kun kin, kin ba no kun nik bot ka. Chi wa e aita kan ki cha na kupor nipo. Kun muli ra snimo poi wanga, tong iduama ji, yuman ak un kikatune. Uchua penki, tong iduama ji, yuman ak un kikatune. Chi ita kan ki cha na kilikon. Chi wa e aita kan ki. Ka kin cha na wa ba ka on. Ba gwa shang kon ti ma chi tum. Chi wi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi uko tune chuna muri ra. Tang i wa ma ji ko na. Tong ki pa no. Ba ba ha san. Ka kin. Ka chi. Ka chi. Baba Kaki Achua Fenki Yun Patisa Ichuba Jikuta Naga Ingu Mwa Muli Radwana Inba Nikcha Lora Kun Kaki Ncha Nawa Bagaon Bagwa Shang Konti Machi Tum Chiwa Efeita Kan Ki Cha Na Kupor Nibo Kun muli ras nimo poi wanga Tang iduama ji Yuman ak un kikatune Ba ba ha san shan No ba muli ra tilai kuka
you up, eh? Mom. Thank <laughs> you.